Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 588. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 586 to 590. Hey, we got a great VLOOKUP trick here. Um, this is a question that someone asked. We're going to answer the question, and then we're going to go over and see an, an amazing other use um, that dawned on me for this VLOOKUP trick. Well, here's the situation. We had a column, and we need to, for every one of these lookup values, we need to go over here, find it, go over to the third column, and ask the question, is the element in this row equal to 201? Right? So I guess this third would be a better example. Find that value, go over here, is it equal to 201? If it is equal to 201, then they're exempt and they get a 0. Otherwise, everyone else gets a 12. So I'm going to use VLOOKUP to start this, and then we're going to build a formula around it. So VLOOKUP, look up this, comma, the first three columns, control shift down arrow, F4 to lock it in all directions, comma, and then this is column one, two, three, because it'll look up the element here. So the third column is what we want. Now think about this. Um, what is VLOOKUP doing? VLOOKUP is built to retrieve something, right? So it's going to actually dump that 201 in the cell. But, but how is that going to work? Well, let's comma, and I'm going to do exact match um, 0, because these might not be sorted in perfect order. There are no duplicates, though. If there were duplicates, it would be a different trouble. But we'll look at this. Right, and then double click and send this down. So look, there, oh, now there's a 201. Looks like I have this randomizing here. This table's changing. But what good is that going to do? Well, we can use the VLOOKUP as the first argument in uh, the if function. I'm going to say right up here, um, assume, and I'm going to say 201. Now watch this, I'm going to say v, uh, if, so if function, and the logical test will be whatever the VLOOKUP returns when that's equal to this. And I'm going to lock it once so when I'm going down. Now the VLOOKUP converted to a logical formula, say VLOOKUP is equal to that, only when it sees 201 will it say true. Comma, then the value if true is 0. Otherwise, it's 12, or whatever the, the value was here. So the whole idea is we have to look up uh, this uh, first column, find out if it's 201, then it gets a, if it's true, then 0, otherwise 12. So then we can control enter and double click and send it down. Now, you can see when we get a 201 over here, we get a 0. When we do not get a 201, we get a 12. Now, that was like what the person asked, um, it, but over here I thought of a great example for this. Here it is, you have a database, two databases, an employee, and they are either exempt or not exempt. And this database uh, you know, could be huge with lots of columns, but one of those columns has whether they're exempt or not. right? So we go through this list of names here. This is all the names. These are just whatever names for this particular period. So we need to do two things in this formula. If they are exempt, which means one VLOOKUP, then we want a 0. Otherwise, if they're not exempt, which means they're a yes, then we have to do a calculation. We have to do, um, here's our gross pay for the week. We actually have to look up this value, find the tax rate, return that tax rate, and multiply it by the gross to get the tax. So you ready? We'll just start off with equal if, just like the last one, because we know our VLOOKUP is going to be part of our logical test. So VLOOKUP. And the first VLOOKUP is going to be looking up the employee name, comma, within this database. And these could be on other sheets, and you could do sheet references. Control Shift Down and F4 to lock it, comma. The column is the second one, comma. And I definitely am going to put 0, because these names maybe are not sorted, close parentheses. Now, what are we asking here? It's, is it no? So I want to say. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, because exempt means they're, it, they are exempt. So equals, and then in quotes, yes. You could put this up in an assumption area if you wanted. So now, that is the trigger. It's either a true, false. It's either, um, I can see I made a mistake right there. It's comma. So the va um, boop, that's the test. That's the value to put in the cell if it is tr true. I'm sorry, I did this all backwards. There we go. So when VLOOKUP 
equals yes. That's the logical test. Comma, then what do we want? They don't get, they're exempt from this tax. They get a zero. And then that's the value of true. So then comma, the value of false, it is another VLOOKUP because we have to go get the tax rate. This time, for the second VLOOKUP, we're going to be looking up the gross, comma, and I'm going to get it from the bottom here, and then hit F4 to lock it. That's the table, comma, and this one also has it in the second column. It could be any two, three, four, but ours happens to be in uh, the second column. Now, the last argument is for exact match. We do not have an exact match. When we're doing a lookup tax table like this, we have huge gaps. That table has to be sorted in ascending order. So we will leave it off because that's called approximate um, match. I'm going to close parentheses on the VLOOKUP. That is the value of false. Now, let's just try this. I'm going to close parentheses, Control Enter. And double click and send it down. That's not quite what we want. We got the zero because name two has a yes, they're exempt. That's the tax rate. We actually need to multiply that tax rate times that. With the cells still highlighted, I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. And very carefully, I'm going to click back in because the value of false part of this, we have the VLOOKUP right, but what we really needed, because since VLOOKUP is going to return the percentage, is times the gross, and then that will work all the way down. Control Enter. And now you have a, a formula with if and two VLOOKUPs. The first one's looking in the database employee uh, employee database, looking for the yes. It throws a zero in, and if not, it goes to another tax table and looks up the tax rate and multiplies it times the ew gross <laughs> gross pay. Really, it should be the tax that's gross because we'd rather keep our gross. So there you have it. Uh, if two VLOOKUPs, two different tables. See you next trick.